So over here on the bottom, you can see that there is something called the status bar. If I were to go around over here, you can see that as I hover over on the bottom left hand side, you see the exact pixel area where my mouse is. So let's say for example, if I were to keep my mouse onto the top, you can see that at the right hand side of the text says 4 pixel. That means this is 4 pixel apart from the top that is vertically and it is 52 pixel apart from the left. As I move along, you can see the exact point. So let's say for example, if I were to click and drag this, now you can see that I drew and the end point is uh, 371 by 300 pixel. And this area right here is 124 by 117 pixel from vertical and horizontal point. You got this area right here, so you can go around, click and drag this, and you can see the total size of this as well. So let's say for example, you are to make this, this is 24 by 20, uh, 29 by 24 pixel, click and drag this, this is 273 by 189 pixel, the shape. So here, this is the total canvas size. If I were to expand this out, you can see that this is the canvas size. And over here on the left side, you got the zoom option. If you want to work around with, let's say, for example, onto the view, you can also disable the status bar if you don't want these details. And after you draw out things over here, and if you don't want anything to be distracting, you can directly go full screen by clicking on full screen and you'll be seeing this. Here, you won't be able to work, but you'll just be able to preview how it would look without any distractions. If you were to click outside, then it'll just zoom out and then go back to the working, uh, working space in Microsoft Paint. And that is how uh, status bar works and that is how you can disable and enable status bar and utilize the full screen mode inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.